What's going on, guys? So I have two more fragrances from Dossier Perfumes. I haven't taken a look at them. It's Aquatic Vanilla and Citrus Neroli. Don't remember what those are. I may have come across these in the past. I am not sure. First and foremost, thank you to Dossier for sending these my way. So I can talk about them with you guys. And as per usual, we'll smell them. We'll talk about them. We'll check them out. And at the end of the video, we're going to give away winner's choice one of these bottles. So stay tuned. <laughs> So, first one we're going to check out, Aquatic Vanilla, 50 ml. So, those of you not familiar with Dossier, it's all clean source, the oils are made in France. And the beauty about them is if you spray it and don't like it, you can just return it. No big deal, and you get a full refund. So, Aquatic Vanilla is, Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes. That's a good one. I remember this one being a good one. 22% oil concentration. So, here we go. Show you guys that. Put it to the side. Let's see if we got any bubbles in the label. We do not. They did great. They did a fantastic job. Everything seems nice and lined up. Sticker on the bottom. They do have magnetic caps and the atomizers. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. That's that creamy, almost coconutty vanilla sunscreen type of smell. This is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. I don't even remember what the other one is. Probably Neroli Portofino or something like that since it's called Citrus Neroli. But I can tell you guys right now, this one's really good. Way, way cheaper than getting Vanilla Vibes, too. Not quite on the same quality level. Though this does not smell cheap, designerish, synthetic in any way. I'd still put it a notch below Juliet Has a Gun's quality. Niche is niche. You know what I mean? But they did such a good job. Top notes, marine notes, red fruits, and rose. Mid notes of vanilla, orchid, and coconut. Base notes of musks, sandalwood, and benzoin. So it's not exactly the same note breakdown as vanilla vibes. They straight up have coconut in this note breakdown. And it does give you that by the beach suntan lotion, but not a nauseating type of suntan lotion because certain synthetic coconuts just don't do it for me. Those of you who have been watching me a long time, you know that there's very few coconut notes that I'm a big fan of. Juliet Has a Gun's DNA definitely does that for me. It is one of the few that I really, really enjoy. <sighs> Some good stuff. So I'm getting a little bit of a fruitiness, but it's more creamy vanilla coconut lotion smell. It definitely gives, like I said, that by the beach vibe. This is some really good stuff. Like I said, whoever, whoever wins the giveaway, personally, I would go after this one. But hey, it's winner's choice. If you want the other one, go with the other one. Uh, pretty damn accurate. In fact, let me grab Vanilla Vibes. So I've done this in the past where I've compared it to it, and it's pretty accurate. This is actual Vanilla Vibes. We'll go on the wrist. Just a little, little spritz is plenty. So comparing the original to the clone. Pretty accurate. I would say every bit of 85 to 90% close. Maybe even a little bit better. It's pretty accurate. To be honest with you, there's a little bit more of a coconut smell in Aquatic Vanilla than there is in Vanilla Vibes. You get a little bit more coconut here, because I don't even remember coconut being in the notes here. So that's probably why. But aside from that, it's pretty accurate. Again, quality's a little bit different, but they did a great job. It smells like Vanilla Vibes. Next, we have Citrus Neroli. I'm pretty confident this is Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino Eau de Parfum, as anticipated. So let's take a look at the label. Two for two. No bubbles. They did a great job. Looks pretty well lined up. Sticker on the bottom. Let's give this one a spray on the other hand. Now, I don't have Neroli Portofino. I have tons of stuff that smells like Neroli Portofino. Another version of this being what... Ooh. That's nice. It's almost like a little bit of a spice to it. No, it's more of a zest than a spice. Zesty citrus with a lot of neroli here. A lot of neroli. That was a little zesty. It might be some spice. It smells really good. So, top notes of neroli, bergamot, mandarin, and lemon. Mid notes of orange blossom, jasmine, and lavender. Base notes of musk and amber. So, no spice, but it's definitely got a zestiness that almost feels like a fresh spice. 
this, man, look, the vanilla vibes, aquatic vanilla, smells great, but this is just such a, an all-time great scent profile, you know, it's hard to beat either way, this one is an 18% eau de parfum, and if I remember correctly, this one actually performs decent, this is like a six to eight hour fragrance, if I remember correctly, I have a bottle of this, I haven't worn it in a long time, though. Oh, that smells great. A lot of citrus, but it's a zesty, like I said, zesty, sharp citrus that almost has a bit of a fresh, spicy, but still juicy quality to it, and a lot of neroli here. Is there other florals in here? Jasmine, so there you go, orange blossom. So a lot of heavy white floral smell. That's all white florals, plus some lavender, which the neroli in itself will make a soapy smell. Mix lavender with it, you get a pretty soapy fragrance overall. Clean, soapy, luxurious bar of soap type of smell with a lot of citrus. This is a beautiful fragrance, too. I mean, it's a toss-up, really. Completely different vibes here. No pun intended, because one smells like vanilla vibes. Both great for the, the warmer weather. If you're in a warmer climate, you're good either way. I don't know. It, it's a toss-up for me. I think I would still go with aquatic vanilla, but citrus and neroli smells fantastic. Now on to the giveaway. So all you have to do is like this video. Make sure you subscribe to TLTG Reviews. And down in the comments, put TLTG and the name of the fragrance you would like to win. For aquatic vanilla, put TLTG aquatic vanilla. For citrus and neroli, put TLTG citrus and neroli. Continental United States only. I'll leave this open for about a week. Public service announcement. I'm doing this from now on in my giveaway videos because it happens every time. I, I'm doing a giveaway video that went live at the day of that I'm recording this. And sure enough, here came that those BS Telegram scam profiles. I will never randomly alert you and tell you you won some random giveaway. You're not going to win iPhones and cash and all this other stuff from me. I'll never ask you to have a conversation with me on Telegram. If you follow the instructions in these videos, these giveaway videos that I do, you'll always know when it's me and when it's not me. And if you're ever wondering, just click the profile name and you'll be able to tell right away it's not me. So if you click my profile name, you'll see my profile with my banner, my pictures, my bio, my subscriber count, all my videos. So please don't get fooled by that. I've had a lot of people reach out to me over the last several months since this started becoming a real big problem. It's not just happening on my channel. It's happening on pretty much every channel that does any kind of giveaway. So it's it's going to happen in this video. So please, that is not me. Focus on the instructions and it won't steer you wrong. Once again, like this video, subscribe to TLTG Reviews, comment down below TLTG in the name of the fragrance you'd like to win. Continental U.S. United States only. The way you will be notified is I'll pin the winning comment, which Telegram scam profile can't pin my comments. Only I can. And I will heart and reply to your comment to alert you. And then I'll ask you to email me personally at my actual email. That's in my link tree and on my bios and everything. My AOL email address and get you to verify your identity. And we'll set up shipping. Easy peasy, right? And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on either one of these, you might end up thanking me later. But one of you will get the bottle of your choice. So good luck to everybody that enters the giveaway. Have a good one.